Welcome to Savi YouTube channel, Sai Vidya Institute of Technology. Myself, Venkatesh Ayam, Associate Professor in the Department of ECE. I am the Course Coordinator for the subject Engineering Statistics and Linear Algebra. In this lecture video, we are going to discuss Module 2 from the syllabus Multiple Random Variables. This module is the extension of the previous module Single Random Variables. The contents in this particular module are the concept of multiple random variables, two variable CDF and PDF PDFs, two variable expectations, two variable transformation, two Gaussian random variables, sum of two independent random variables, sum of IAD random variables and central limit theorem for large numbers, conditional joint probabilities and apart from this we are going to discuss few more standard random variables. Uh, that is chi-square random variable, student t random variable, Cauchy and Rayleigh's random variables. Let us consider the first topic that is the concept of multiple random variables. Here multiple random variables refers to the number of random variables in this module we are going to consider always greater than 1. Now if I consider two random variables then the data must be recorded in pairs that is x comma y at any instant of time. Similarly, if I consider three variables, then the data must be recorded in a three dimensional plane that is x comma y comma z. The most of the topics in this module are limited to bivariate random variables that is two random variables. Now let us consider two random variables x comma y. In this, this case is considered as bivariate case or joint uh, case. So here, so the data must be recorded in pairs that is x comma y. Suppose if we have n observations, then uh, we will get n sets of pair of data that is x comma y. That pair of data are represented by x i comma y i where i varies from 1 to n. 1 to n. Now, if we want to define the mathematical functions for multivariate random variables, so we have to follow the logical consistency used for the single random variables. Example, if I want to define the CDF of multiple random variables, now let us recall the CDF of a single random variable x. So it is noted in its notation is f x of x equal to probability of the random variable x less than or equal to its independent variable x. Now if I want to define the CDF for two random variables x and y, then we can indicate the bivariate CDF because the number of variables are two, we call this CDF as bivariate. If the variables are 3, we can write this one as trivariate CDF or if the variables are any number greater than 2, we can call that CDF as uh, multivariate CDF. Now for two random variables x, y, we will indicate the CDF as capital letter F with suffix representing x, y. This x, y represents we are considering the set of data at any instant of time. So one data is recorded from the x variable, other data will be recorded from the y variable. So always the data is x comma y. Here small x is the independent variable for random variable x and small y is the independent variable for random variable y. Therefore, for bivariate CDF, it is a uh, function of the independent variable x and independent variable y of the random variables x and y respectively. Now, the CDF for this bivariate random variables, so it is defined as it is a probability of the probability of x less than or equal to x intersection with y less than or equal to y, y less than or equal to y. So it is intersection of two events that is x less than or equal to x and y less than or equal to y. This is for uh, two random variables. In the same way for multivariate CDF of any order n any order n that means if we have n random variables uh, let the random variables are x1 to xn then the data we have to record like x1 comma x2 comma xn so each uh, data should be taken from each of the random variable that is x1 from uh, 
uh, random variable x1 x2 from random variable x2 and xn from random variable xn at any instant of time so for multivariate cdf the notation is capital letter f with suffix all the uh, n random variables x1 x2 up to xn within the parentheses we have to indicate their corresponding independent variables x1 comma x2 comma up to xn then the rhs of the cdf is it is a probability of the intersection of all the events that is x1 less than or equal to x1 intersection with x2 less than or equal to x2 intersection with xn less than or equal to xn so as i uh, told in this module the most of the topics are related to two random variables that is for bivariate case so we will discuss in detail for bivariate random variable how what are the properties of the cdf what are the properties of the pdf and what are the expectations parameters for two random variables in communication engineering so this topics are very important in finding the correlation between two signals at a time so if you consider two signals at a time so if you want to compare the two signals x and y so by using these two random variable topics so we can find the correlation between them and we can uh, uh, take some uh, strong decision of the relationship between the two random variables x comma y now let's move on to the second topic from module number 2 that is bivariate cumulative and bivariate density functions so bivariate means we will consider two random variables at a time and this case is also considered as joint cumulative and density functions that is bivariate means so it is the joint bivariate random variables means joint random variables now let us define uh, for two random variables what is the cumulative distribution function cumulative distribution function for two random variables is uh, generally named as bivariate cumulative distribution function or joint cumulative distribution function here the data is recorded in pair that is x comma y for two random variables the bivariate cdf is defined as f x y of x comma y equal to so it is an intersection of two events x less than or equal to x and y less than or equal to y now to understand this so let us consider a single point x comma y in x y plane in x y plane now from the definition of the cumulative distribution function the event x less than or equal to x intersection with y less than or equal to y so it can be explained like this now the x comma y point it is represented in the first quadrant in x y plane the first one is x less than or equal to x for this point x less than this point will be the portion of the x y plane which is present left side of the point x comma y and it is intersection with y less than or equal to y the corresponding y value is this point y less than or equal to y means the portion of the x y plane present below this particular point therefore the intersection of x less than or equal to x and y less than or equal to y so is the portion of x comma y point that is present to the left of this point and to the below of this particular point x comma y now uh, the cumulative distribution function gives the probability of the this particular intersection region the intersection region x less than or equal to x and y less than or equal to y it is represented in the shaded region the probability of this shaded region gives you the cumulative distribution function for the giant random variables x comma y and we should note that the cumulative distribution function it is always increasing function for this let us consider one more point one more point so which is slightly above the first point x comma y so in figure 2 we can see there are two points first point is x comma y the second point is just slightly above the first point that is x plus delta x comma y plus delta y now if i find the overall area that is uh, present to the left of x plus dx comma y plus dy and to the below this particular point the region of the 
x plus delta uh, x less or equal to x and y less or equal to y for the second point it is more than the first point x comma y x comma y therefore if uh, we consider any point x comma y so which is above the point above the point then the cdf we are going to get that means the probability value will be always more than the first point x comma y so from this uh, second plot second plot so i can conclude that i can conclude that uh, cumulative distribution function for joint random variables it is always increasing function yes the data points x comma y so it increases in the right side the cumulative distribution function also increases it also increases and that is what we are represented in this point so if i find the differential change in the first point and the second point that difference is always positive always positive that means uh, f x y of the second point minus f x y of the first point it is always non negative it is always non negative and uh, if i find a differential for these two points the differential change also we are going to get the positive so the differentiation also we are going to get positive value positive value some of the special cases are bivariate cdf or bivariate cdf are so this bivariate cdf special properties we can clearly we can understand from the first figure figure number 1 now here x comma y i have represented in the first quadrant the maximum value of x we can give is infinity and y also infinity so the maximum point is infinity comma infinity so if i mark infinity comma infinity then the shaded region is the entire xy plane entire xy plane then if i find the probability for the entire xy plane which is uh, uh, less than infinity in both x and y directions then the probability value will be always equal to 1 that is f x y of infinity comma infinity always equal to the probability of the entire sample space that is always equal to 1 now second case is so the minimum values of x and y are i can put x equal to minus infinity and y equal to minus infinity so that point you will get at the uh, leftmost point on the horizontal axis minus infinity comma minus infinity then suppose if x value is minus infinity and y value is minus infinity the intersection region is a null set and the probability of null set is always equal to zero therefore the cumulative distribution function for x comma y equal to minus infinity is always zero and its highest value is f x y of infinity comma infinity that is one if the x and y values are in between plus or minus infinity then you are going to get the bivariate cdf value anywhere in between 0 to 1 0 to 1 so with this uh, preamble so i can uh, I, I can define few more general properties of the uh, bivariate cdfs now let us consider so out of two events x and y if x is less than or equal to minus infinity x is less than equal to minus infinity so in this case in this case by using the definition of the cdf then it is uh, can be written like this it is a probability of x less than equal to minus infinity intersection with y less than equal to y now since the x independent value is minus infinity the region of the region of x less than equal to minus infinity is a null set because we don't be having any real values when uh, below the x equal to minus infinity value therefore the first set becomes a null set so null set intersection with any of the sets will results with null set therefore f x y of minus infinity comma y results with zero value similarly uh, if y is less than or equal to minus infinity so we are going to get the same value f x y of x comma minus infinity also zero because here the y set becomes null set therefore the null set intersection with any given values of x uh, set we are going to get a null set so probability of the null set we are going to get as zero if both x comma y regions becomes uh, both are null sets 
that is when x equal to minus infinity and y equal to minus infinity the probability of the probability of x less than or equal to x and y less than or equal to y it becomes the probability of null set intersection with null set we are going to get zero as the value therefore if either x or either y is equal to minus infinity or both are equal to minus infinity the joint probability value is always equal to zero is always equal to zero now if uh, x equal to infinity or y equal to infinity so now we will take this condition if x less than or equal to infinity and the y is anywhere in between 0 to infinity in this case uh, the region of x less than or equal to infinity so it covers the entire sample space in the x uh, direction so total sample space intersection with y less than or equal to y so we are going to get the result of this intersection region as y less than or equal to y so this is same as the CDF value for the single random variable f y comma y that means so if the x value is infinity that means the random variable x independent value is infinity then the joint probability of infinity comma y becomes equal to single random variable CDF value f y of y because the x region is the complete sample space and the total sample space intersection with any set you are going to get the as uh, uh, whatever the set we are considering here yeah, the set we are considering is y less than or equal to y so we are going to get the same probability y less than or equal to y similarly so if i consider y value as less than or equal to infinity then the joint cumulative distribution function value for uh, x comma infinity is x comma infinity is is a probability of x less than or equal to x intersection with y less than or equal to infinity so y less than or equal to infinity uh, becomes the total sample space so the total sample space intersection with x less than or equal to x will be you are going to get x less than or equal to x so the probability of x less than or equal to x is nothing but it is a cdf of the random variable x therefore f x y of x comma infinity uh, can be written as f x of x f x of x suppose if uh, both x as well as y both are less than or equal to infinity then it covers the entire x y plane entire x y plane as shown in figure number one then so the probability becomes the probability of the entire x y plane that is the entire sample space that is s sample space uh, intersection with s so total probability of the sample space is always equal to one always equal to one so therefore i can conclude that the joint CDF is also a increasing function the minimum value is 0 so this 0 value we are going to get uh, only when either x or y value is minus infinity and the maximum value we are going to get is uh, 1 this value 1 we are going to get only when either x or y independent variable value is infinity or both are equal to infinity we will get anywhere in between 0 to 1 when the values of x and y are finite that means x greater than or x is in between minus infinity to plus infinity and y also in between minus infinity to plus infinity so finally i can conclude that the joint cdf is a non decreasing in both x and y direction in the next video we will discuss the joint probability density function for two random variables